I'm arresting you for such a pretty bottle. Curved lines. I know you love it. This is, you know what I mean? I didn't want it to be about the other. Welcome back to another Buy Bar Pass. Grease, what do we got tonight? We have got something called Pin Hook 10 here, and it is freaking beautiful. Will, tell them about that bottle. Look at that wax. Some people call the wax the tater bait or whatever it is. That's not, they do all of their bottles like that. So this like is the OG uh, tater, man. This is a 10 year old whiskey. It's 115.2 proof. It's like this off white pearl with gold inlay. Like it looks so good. This is a weeded bourbon. This is batch two of this. So this bottle is number 240 of 573. 573 batch bottles one. exist. No, That's no time. I think batch one. So of this series, there's only like 200. So there's only between the two batches, like 700 and something. Well, it. that would make sense because 10 years ago, they were like, they're going to want more of the second batch because it's going to be so good. Penhook takes a winemaker's approach to whiskey inspired by co-founder and master blender Sean Joseph's time as a sommelier. Andre Huiston Mack. Not saying that name right. Houston. That looks more like Huiston to me. That's that, that's not... I, that's H-U... That's H-U-E-S-T-O-N. There's... there's Houston. Houston. Or it could just be Houston. It could just be Houston. It doesn't have to be West Waston. Waston. This could be the one time I'm going to say Grace is actually correct. <laughs> You're just. Are you okay? So I was correct, but you were just trying to. Andre face. Houston Mack is the founder and award-winning winemaker of Maison. Damn, I'm De these French words. Maison Noir Wines and was the first African American to be named Best Young Sommelier in America by Stop with the French names already, Cheyenne de Rotisserie. <laughs> Not saying that right either. Nope. Sean and Andre met while working at the it's lauded it's <laughs> New York restaurant per se, it also is. French, uh, and have been friends ever since. His collaboration on two five barrel batches. So this is batch two of two. Blended from 10 Wyoming whiskey barrels. So Wyoming whiskey, we like them. Uh, we have, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. <laughs> what are you gonna? <laughs> Pittenhook purchased in 2012 as a tribute to Andre's superlative palate, his longstanding friendship with Sean, and the inspiration Pinhook draws from the world of wine. Let's go, Grease, distilled in Kirby, Wyoming, mm -hmm. hand bottled by Castle and Key Distillery, Frankfort, Kentucky. Let's get this wax open. Ooh, that sounds sexual. Um, I will go ahead and just say this for anybody out there that's wondering. Pregnant people are not allowed to drink this. It looks it if this this is a wedding pour and a half, dude. This is a wedding dress on a bottle. And right, if you don't you agree with me, Shh. you're an idiot. America. I'm arresting you for such a pretty bottle. Curved lines. I know you love it. This is, you know what I mean? I didn't want it to be about the Time other. out. It's got a little bit of grassiness on the nose. You smell that? I smell a skosh of it. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's very, it's a very interesting nose. There's something going on there and I'm not quite sure what it is. It's got that, here's, I know 100% this is going to be lights out with two months of air. Like if you yeah. don't touch it, let that sit there for two months, it will be lights out. There's an astringent medicinal note that I'm getting, which I feel like you're getting it. It's kind of an earthy medicinal, yeah, there's I some, agree Well, with there's that. something grassy or earthy on the nose, but then... There's also something uh, fruity, like apple. I was get saying, some apple. I'm saying like, a, like, a, a, like a cherry cough syrup medicinal, like Robitussin thing. No, that's just the volume you took for your procedure tomorrow. This is good, Will. How much should we pay for this? Uh, this is 120 ish. Here's my problem. I don't 
I don't feel it at 120 on a fresh crack. I just, I just don't. It is one of the more unique bourbons I've tasted in quite some time. I feel like, and I know you said grass, and I know my brain is going there, but sweet grass and dovetail from barrel bourbon. Oh yeah, yeah. Those those are way more like left field than than this thing though. Like this. Well, those are finished in things. This isn't finished. This I, is a wheat well, but you from, didn't say that. You just said this is one of the more unique things that I've had, or this is the most unique thing you've had recently. Yeah, I, I still stand by that. I mean, like in the last three months. Here's the deal. I don't necessarily, like, I like what Pinhook is doing. I think they make some quality stuff. I just think that this needs maybe a drop of water right now, or it needs a little air time. And I guess, we, I guess we can totally figure that out. How much is this? How much do I do again? Oh, I get man. much more leather. Uh, and and oak coming out when you you put some water in it, so that opened up the nose. I'm st it's the back. It's it's the finish for me. It's uh, it's on the back of my tongue during the finish. It just gets medicinal, even with freaking water in it. No, it's leathery, full leather. I don't and get caramel. It. I don't get it. Actually, I liked adding water to that. That really opened it mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. uh, I it, you know what I, I do, agree. I do want to revisit it. But I'm still getting it. I do want to revisit it. Um, as time goes on, I, I'm I'm on the cusp of loving it, but I'm I'm not there yet. It has really good. I think you're gonna be mad at me. You're gonna say pass. I'm gonna say pass. That's fine. I at think you're 120 dollars, it's expensive. Because and here's the reason I'm passing because I don't necessarily know. In two months, is this going to open up yeah. the way I want Yeah, to. no, and that's that's a, so a big that's what I hope. Tag. That's what I think will happen, but I don't know that it will, so I can't take the hundred and freaking twenty dollar gamble. Now yeah, it's a big price tag. This is a it's a beautiful it's bottle. Gorgeous. It's age stated. It's higher proof, hundred fifteen point two proof. It, it checks the boxes. Yeah. It's got a great story. It's got a great look. It's got freaking freaking wax on it. You just want it. I think you gotta that pass. I'm I pass. I think for me. Um, one, I'm wanting to like it. The notes I'm getting are notes I like. I'm just confused by it right now. Right. And so I will... Oh, I'm, de I'm definitely confused. I'm on the lower side of bar, because if you can get that for 25 bucks in a bar to try, it's probably been open for a little bit of time. It's a very small release. There's so, no so there's way. not a ton of these that are going to be floating out there. I might trade my bottle, like legit. Unless, if I go and find this at a bar and it's been open for a while, like you said, for $20, I will take that $20 chance. And you know this one's open. You'll be able to try it. That's what I'm saying. I just got to wait. I think for people that like um, old, older weeded bourbon, like, I mean, there's leather. It's sweet, but it's sweet leather. That's why it, it's kind of, it's more earthy than most weeders, so there's a weird thing going on with with the flavor profile there's flavors i like i think i'm going to end up loving it but it's not something i can readily tell everyone go buy so i'm definitely not a buy i do think at a bar if it's an open bottle if it's a fresh crack at a bar you may not appreciate it but i think at a bar i can get there if it's in the 20 to 30 dollar range for a pour and you want to try something special it's not something that's going to be on your shelf I think I'm going to land at a low bar. I'm not a solid bar like I've been before. I'm not bar. People have by. called me a low bar before. I oh, know. No, sorry. Sorry. How do you sorry. think I ended up with you as a, as a podcast co-host? The phrase has always been for my mom, the bar was low. Right. Not a low bar. There's a difference. Yeah. So Here's I think it's a low bar for me. It's a pass for you. This is, this is almost perfect. Nose, palate. It's the finish. The finish literally tastes... The finish does nothing bad to me. The The finish tastes bitter and, I mean, and medicinal. To, it's, re to it's, recap. It's bitter and medicinal finish, which literally goes from a full-on buy to a pass. It's so bad. So bad. To recap, Grease just said, it's almost perfect. Don't buy it. I literally did. 
the finish is so bad. See, I, it, can't I, buy don't, it. I don't get a bad finish at all. Well, we'll see in two months. Yeah, we, we got to revisit see. it. We'll see. Maybe we'll do a follow up video on it. But here's the deal: like I, it, I cannot. This finish is not. It's not good. All right, folks, thanks so much for watching this episode of Buy Bar Pass. If you want to support us by subscribing and giving us a thumbs up, we'd really appreciate it. Also, you can help us by supporting us at patreon.com slash the podcast. Thank you, Patrick, for putting it right there. He's so cute when he does it. And that's going to do it for this Buy Bar Pass. We'll see you next special week.